Do you hate the sound of your voice, but you want to be a voice actor? <laughs> well, you're not alone. One of my friends came to me and said, I've always thought about being a voice actor, but I don't really like the sound of my voice. Have you ever had the thought, well, I'm not sure if I'd be able to book a commercial or a narration or even an audiobook? Well, if that sounds like something you've been wrestling with, let's talk about it. I'm going to give you three things that you can do to go from I'm not really loving my voice to I'm loving it a little bit more. I'm Havlin Maxwell and welcome to my channel. I've been a voice actor for over 15 years and I'm a voiceover coach and I'm here to help you if you're a new voice actor and you want to confidently build a voiceover business. So if you're curious about VO or you've been in the game for a few years and you're looking for some tips, then you're in the right place. So let's dig in. One of the three things that you can do to go from hating your voice to loving it a little bit more is number one. Start putting more focus on how you'd like to use your voice, not how it sounds to you right now. Because studies show that how you hear your voice differs from how others can listen to it and hear it because of the way that it passes through our bodies. Do not spend time dogging out your voice. Your voice is your voice. So it's like when you hear yourself in a recording and you think, do I sound like that? You do sound like that, but other people don't hear your voice the way that you do. So spend less time focused on what you hear and more time thinking about how you're going to use what you already have. Your voice is unique. That means nobody sounds like you. So that's to be celebrated because your voice and the way that you use it could make all the difference in you actually getting booked for a project. Number two, Set up an appointment with a voice therapist or a vocal coach to help you, okay? They can help you work on your cadence, your tone quality, your pitch, and your range. The same can be true if you have an accent of some kind and you prefer not to have it or you want it to be less noticeable. Then try working with an accent reduction coach. Now, on the flip side, if you want to show off your accent, which you probably should, then make a highlight reel or put that on your demo or put it in some kind of work that your client can hear your range. Now, the third thing that you can do to get used to the sound of your own voice is by recording it and replaying it back often. Grab a magazine or watch a commercial. Use the copy to have something to actually record. Then record your voice and play it back. Do this a few times a week. Okay, At the end of the week, you're going to want to take out a sheet of paper or put it in your notes and start noticing what you do like about your voice. Start appreciating and showing gratitude for its uniqueness. So write down what you do like about it on one side and then on the other side, write down what you wish you could improve and then research ways to improve that. And then you can even take those notes to your vocal coach to work on that together. Now, if you're having a hard time coming up with things that you actually like about your voice, borrow a loved one's confidence. Ask a trusted friend or a family member, what do you like about my voice? And lean into that. Now, while you're going through this process, don't compare yourself to other people and don't compare your voice to other folks' voices, okay? Comparing will not help you make peace with where you are right now. Everyone's voice is different, which is excellent because there is enough room for all of our voices in this industry. That's it for now. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. Now, if you have questions, leave me a comment and I'll get back to you. And if you know you're ready to start working as a voice actor and you want training, then check out my Make Money With Your Mouth program. The description is below. Until next time, allow grace and be encouraged.